how much they need to learn to save us from disasters. There isn't one appliance that they don't know about. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. The pack a mat. Uh, Simka, can I have the pack a mat? I'd like to practice with it a little before the exam. Take it! <laughs> hmm? You're really good with that thing. Good. I couldn't be any worse with it. I wanted a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Actually, you were pretty close there. You did manage to get the hose at least. <laughs> this is not at all funny. In order to get a tool out of a pack a mat, a fixie must not only press the button on his chest, but he must also clearly picture exactly the tool he needs. By the time they are adults, this is easy for fixies to do. But while they're children, they must study hard to master this important skill. As fixies learn about new tools, they take exams to prove they know how they work. And if they pass an exam, the new tool is added to their pack of mats And there's no end to what you can find inside. Screwdrivers, hammers, ladders, vacuums, and even soldering irons. But many of the tools that fixies use look quite different from the ones that humans have. And the reason for this is very simple. It's because fixies have to fix appliances that are much bigger than they are. Uh, I just wish I knew which tool was going to be on that exam. I got it! You just stay right here! Grandpus! What? Um, on the exam, which tool are you going to ask about? It's a secret. Uh, it's too bad. But I'm sure you can keep a secret, right? Of course. Then I'll tell you. Today's exam is on pliers, you see? You won't tell anyone, will you? Not a chance. Ah, uh, I'll never pass it. You will. He's gonna ask about pliers. Huh? How could you know that? It's a secret. <laughs> okay, Digit. See if you can get the pliers out of there. A pair of pliers is a great tool indeed. To grab and turn things, it's the tool that you need. Just be careful how you use them, or your fingers, you could bruise them. Pliers are a great tool indeed. Just be careful how you use them, or your fingers, you could bruise them. Pliers are a great tool indeed. Good going. You got it. Thanks a lot, Nolik. It's not really me you should be thanking. A lot. For what? The secret. What secret? About the pliers. Oh, that. You know, I picked a new topic. Um, I decided that a hammer will be the tool. A hammer? Only it's a secret. I remember. <laughs> the topic I changed. It's a hammer. You sure about that? Totally. All right. I'll try to do it. A hammer is a great tool indeed. To pound Be careful how you use it, or your finger, you could bruise it. A hammer is a great tool indeed. Super! I'm sure you're gonna pass. That's only if he asks me about a hammer. I'll be right back. <gasps> Grandpoos, it's a hammer for sure? Nah. A hammer would be way too easy for those kids. So now it is a drill. A drill? But only... It's a secret! <laughs> now I know. There's no doubt about it at all. It's a drill! Uh. A drill is such a great tool indeed. To drill a hole, it is the tool that you need. Just be careful how you use it, or your finger, you could lose it. A drill is such a great tool indeed. Wrenches, drill screwdrivers, vices, mallets, saws, and pliers. All of these are super duper 
great tools, yes, indeed. That's all. That's enough of this. I'll just go and take the exam. Yeah. Digit, come on in. Um, Professor, well, what do you want to ask me on today's exam? Nothing. You already passed. What? You mean you're not going to ask me anything at all? No need. You're excellent at getting tools out of a pack -a mat But how could you know that? That's a secret. And we Fixies sure know how to keep secrets. Can you believe that Fixies are such itty-bitty creatures? Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small it makes you doubt. But if you meet a Fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a Fixie, please don't let The pen. Not here either. Tom Thomas, are you looking for me? Huh. No, for a red pen. I need it right now. What do you need it for? Here, look at my teacher wrote in my assignment book. Bad behavior during the lesson, fidgeting, and talking. What are you going to do with the red pen? Your teacher left something out? I thought maybe, you know, I could fix it a bit. I hope I find that pen. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh. oh, wow. Good catch. So, what do you want to fix on it? I'll just add a couple of no's. And then it will say that I had no bad behavior during the lesson, no fidgeting, and no talking. See, no problem. Cool. And then add this at the end. Tom Thomas is a perfect student. Nah, then they would guess I did it. What, is it clogged up? A little scribble will do it. That's not a pen. It's more like a pen knife. Oh, look, the ball's missing. What ball? It's a pen. It's a pen, but it's a ballpoint pen. <laughs> Old-fashioned pens work by dipping the pen into a jar of ink. But with a ballpoint pen, the ink is stored inside of a tube that has a metal tip on the end with a small steel ball. Well, small for humans, that is, but of course, for fixies, it's quite large. When you drag the pen across the paper, the ball spins around and gets ink on it from inside the tube. Then it turns over and the ink rolls out onto the paper. So without the ball, a ballpoint pen won't write at all. So what am I going to do? That's my only red pen. Hi, everybody. Why do you look so sad? Uh, we lost the ball from the tip of this pen. Where? It's here somewhere. Then you're in luck, boys. In the pack of mat. There's a metal detector. You can use it to find different kinds of metal objects. Nah, that's not it. I can see that myself. It's not on the table, Nolik. Until not that long ago, humans used pens that had to be dipped over and over again into an inkwell. This was quite inconvenient. And so to make writing easier, the fountain pen was invented. A fountain pen could be filled up with ink so it could write for a much longer time. But fountain pens would often leak, leaving blots of ink on the paper. This problem was solved with the invention of the ballpoint pen. Ballpoint pens are simple, handy, and reliable, except that you can't write with them on a wall or upside down for a long time. That's because the ball uses up the ink on it, and the ink can't flow up to the tip. But even this problem has been solved. There are now special ballpoint pens that can be used by astronauts floating in space. Don't 
you just see how awesome my metal detector is? Is that what you're calling me now? Well, Tom Thomas and I needed to fix something in his assignment book. What? If I knew that, I wouldn't have helped you out. So no fidgeting and no talking. Hmm. And your teacher, she writes in your assignment book when you behave well? Uh-huh. Whenever we behave well, she writes a note in our books right away. Ah. Did you see, Simka, how Tom Thomas managed to outsmart everybody? Since I see nothing else here from your teacher, does that mean you behave badly the other days? Uh-huh. What? Well, uh... Did you see, Nolik, how Tom Thomas just managed to outsmart himself? But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out.